Dr. Kanika Sharma Sur. I am a senior consultant uh, and head of the department in the Department of Radiation Oncology. Radiation Oncology in Dharamshila is existing for last 25 years. It's a department which has witnessed all major changes in radiation in the last two decades. It started as a first cancer hospital of North India to have radiation facility in form of the cobalt machine. Gradually, as times changed, it updated itself in form of technology and currently it is boasting to have the latest cutage radiation technology under its roof. Today we'll talk about uh, breast cancer. Breast cancer in India is the most common cancer in women these days. It used to be the number two leading cancer cause of death in women in India. But nowadays it is number one cancer. It has taken over the cervical cancer. So Delhi NCR as such also has a lot of incidence of breast cancer. Although it is majorly seen in women, but one in 100 cases can be seen in men also. Radiation is an integral part of treatment in breast cancers. If we talk about breast cancer treatment, the three major pillars which you see for the treatment are surgery, chemotherapy and radiation. The fourth pillar which has been added on is the hormonal therapy. So if I could put it in a simple manner, the, the best treatment for breast cancer first of all is surgery. Surgery makes it sure that the tumor is out of your body. Surgery can be either removal of the entire breast or at times when the tumor is very small then only a part of the breast which is bearing the tumor is removed. So depending upon what surgery has been done the radiation may be offered to you. As many as 60 to 70 percent cases require radiation during the treatment of breast cancer management. Uh, the cases which include where radiation is required would be those where first of all complete surgery is not done. By completion I mean only part of the breast is removed. We call it breast conservation surgery. So there may be some cells which may be hiding in the rest of the breast. So we give radiation to the breast so that those cells die there itself. So in any patient who has undergone breast conservation surgery, radiation is 100% required. Additionally, those patients who have undergone removal of the entire breasts, there are some situations where radiation is required and these situations are those where tumor is either more than 5 cm in its size or there are some lymph nodes in the axilla or there are some adverse features in the tumor biology which we see in the biopsy report which comes after the surgery. At times, radiation is also required when tumor is widespread. Some women come in a late stage of cancer, the tumor has gone into the bones or brain or the lung. In those situations, radiation is given to give some comfort. If it is a painful bone pain, then we give some radiation, small duration there to relieve pain. What radiation to what woman is a big question. It is not that a one suit fits all. Each case is unique. The duration and the technique of radiation given for each woman would be different from the other. For example, if there is a woman who has her cancer in the left breast, so there is some organ inside which is to be protected and that is the heart. So in her situation, the radiation delivered would be different from that which would be delivered to the right side breast cancer. There are two types of radiations which we can do for breast cancer. One is external radiation and one is internal radiation. External radiation is nothing but these are x-rays. These are some x-rays which are slightly higher in energy. So uh, how it is done? We prepare a mask of the chest and after preparing that mask, we do a CT scan. And on that CT scan, we identify that this is the area which I have to treat and these are the areas which I have to protect. For breast cancer, the areas which I need to protect are the lungs, the heart, the spinal cord, the food pipe and also the skin. After identifying all this, we plan radiation and then we deliver radiation daily. Radiation usually lasts 3 to 5 weeks. Some situations where breast is not been removed, we can do radiation within 3 weeks. But whereas radiation has uh, to be given for almost 5 weeks in those situations where the entire breast has been removed. So the duration varies as per the surgery and as per the patient. We call the patient daily, Monday to Friday and Saturday, Sundays, 2 days are given for the body to rest. The internal radiation is slightly different. In internal radiation, we do not give radiation to the entire breast. 
the surgeon removes the tumor, we, ident we just identify that space where the tumor was and we put some catheters or some tubes inside so that the radiation source can travel and just give radiation to that particular area. That is called brachytherapy. It is required in some unique situations where tumor is very small, almost T1, T2, there are no lymph nodes, the biology of tumor is good, age of the patient is slightly elderly, then we can give such short form of duration. And in this situation, usually 6 to 10 radiations are required and these can be completed over a week or 10 days time. Some side effects do happen despite the best of the radiation we can deliver. So you should be aware what are these side effects. So there are some systemic effects of radiation and there are some effects which are localized. Systemic effects include fatigue, tiredness, decreased appetite, sense of nausea, uh, a feeling as if you have fever but when you measure there is no fever. Whereas the localized effect since it goes through the skin, the skin may become slightly reddish, itchy and at times there may be flaking, skin can peel off if care is not taken well. If it is a peak summer or there is a lot of skin fold in that area, sometimes some water oozing can also happen from that area of skin. The women where we are treating lymph nodes, that is the area behind the collarbones and the axilla, sometimes in third week of radiation, the woman can feel that she has a sore throat, she has a discomfort when she's swallowing food. All these uh, side effects are manageable. We usually prescribe you some medicines to take care of them and we also tell you the do's and don'ts which should be performed during the radiation which primarily include that you do not apply any th to th anything to the skin when the radiation is going on, you wear loose fitting cotton clothes, you remain in the air conditioned environment so that sweating is less. If due precautions are followed, radiation these days are targeted, the side effects would be minimal.